and welcome to the manager's seat. I'm not exactly sure how I've ended up here. Um, some strangers on Twitter asked me to do a video for them and it's about football manager. So I thought, why not accept that offer? Today, we are going to be looking at five tips quickly, five tips to help you in your FM 23 save. So no messing about, no hanging around. Let's get stuck into this video. If you're not familiar with this handsome face, let me introduce myself to you. My name is RDF Tactics and of course, I am friends of the manager C. Now, what we are going to do today is look at some five tips to help you in your FM 23 saves. But before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video as well. Liking the video is going to be so, so important in helping both this video and this channel grow so make sure you hit that like button and yeah you can leave a comment if you have any video recommendations as well for the manager c today let's get stuck into those tips now the first tip for today a lot of us just allow our system managers to pick the team and that's not necessarily a bad idea especially if you're at a club and you're not familiar with the players at the club it's not a bad idea just to allow the assistant or one of the coaches to automatically pick your team but sometimes they have the tendency to pick players that are not tired or prepared to play the game but we can fix that we can fix that what we can do is go to where it says quick pick there's a little drop down button there we can select that and then edit pick guidelines once we select that we've got some beautiful instructions right in front of us now what i do personally i like to just remove the match fitness i don't really care about that but i always leave overall physical condition on at least i mean you can have at least good condition for me it's always at least excellent condition this way i am never ever playing a player that is tired never and even my subs bench as well. It's never filled with tired players. So we can actually test this ourselves. One thing I also like to do as well, go to filtered and I like to select my B team and my under 19 team as well, because now the coach or the assistant manager will also pick players from those B well, the B squad and the under 19 squad. So set pick guidelines, remove match um, sharpness, overall physical condition. We're going to leave it at least. And then we're going to change the good to excellent. Boom, voila, pick. And whoa, we got a message from the assistant. Um, we did just finish playing the game. So a lot of players are going to be tired. And hey, you can see, obviously, we've got a left back at centre back because he's only picking players that is fit enough to play a game all of these players have got minimum fitness of excellent they're ready to play the next game which is against Copenhagen of course once I get nearer to that game then I will do this again and then I'll, I should have a decent team out but that is tip number one never ever filled a tied player again by simply just editing your pick guidelines now for tip number two, and it's it's still based around fitness. It's still based around your player's fitness. Now, this is possibly some sort of hack. I've, a lot of people use it nowadays, and it's possibly a hack. So you can see in my tactic, it's very aggressive. Look at the intensity. It's on red. So the players are going to get knackered after every game. Possibly or surely they cannot play Gegenpress on a Saturday, then a Wednesday, then a Saturday again, then the Tuesday. But... I think you can you might be able to after every game if i go to my squad so let's say i'm playing copenhagen next and then in two days or three days i've got another game what i can do after the copenhagen game is simply select all my starting players right click go to trading go to rest and then i can rest them for one day two days or three days but for me, if I've got a game in four days, I usually rest them for three days. I rest them. When it comes to that match now, all my players, especially my key players as well, are going to be fit and ready to go gang and press in once again. So tip number two, rest your players, especially if your tactic is high intensity. Now, I was hanging about in some stranger stream. I believe his name's FM Stinger, I believe. But I was just hanging about, checking him out. And someone in his chat asked, how do you control or change the tempo of a game? And I simply replied, just change your mentality. So if your mentality is on positive, you can see the tempo is on slightly higher. And what you can do is drop it to defensive. And then your tempo now is slightly lower. But changing your mentality you are changing a lot of things so like you can see now my passing directness is slightly more direct and if i go to positive it's on slightly shorter that is possibly not what he wants he might want to change the tempo he might want to get control of the game 
but he might not want to all of a sudden just pump balls forward and play more direct. So my tip to you guys is, boom, time waste. Now, according to Football Manager and their manual online, let's read what it says. Time wasting. The higher the setting here, the more your players look to do nothing with the ball and take more time over set pieces and dead balls. Oh, who's this Stinger guy? Oh, Stinger streaming. <laughs> look at him, look at <laughs> Now, if you are wasting time over set pieces and dead balls, which I believe is basically the same thing. I'm not sure why they separated the two. But if you're all time wasting, you are changing the tempo of the game. You're making things slower. But in my experience, it's not just dead balls and set pieces. Again, I believe it's the same thing. But also, your players tend to take more time making decisions. They don't hurry themselves. So again, for an example, my uh, tactic, you can see we're trying to operate with a higher tempo. But at times, my players don't have the greatest composure or decision making in this team. So what I do is time waste sometimes and it just slows the tempo. It changes the tempo of the game. Now, if I need to speed things up, all I've got to do is remove it. Or if I've just grabbed the lead and now it's time to change the tempo of the game, I could just go to time wasting sometimes. And it's not as if your players are just going to be standing there at all times time wasting. We are still on positive mentality, but they are trying to change the tempo of the game by slowing the pace down or just changing the pace of the game. So that is my tip number three. Four. Tip number four is it's juicy and it's it's not my tip. Admittedly, we all saw it. You possibly saw it on Twitter last night as well. FM Stag posted about swapping positions, which can be a very, very good game plan. And for me, I'm putting this down as a tip because it really is a tip. It is something that I would advise people, especially if they've got two high quality wings. So for an example, I may have Pereira here. He can easily play on the left hand side and play on the right hand side. And then we've got Oristiano. Again, he can play on the right hand side and he can play on the left hand side. So why not bamboozle defenses by getting them to swap positions during the game and one way you can do that or it's possibly the only way is go to the player tab here select on this player and then you can go and look at the bottom where it says swap positions with we just click that and then boom we can swap it for the attacking midfielder on the right Gaetano Oristanio Gaetano Oristanio I believe that's how you pronounce his name. It doesn't matter because he's going to be swapping positions with Henrik Pereira, bamboozling defenders and fullbacks especially. You know what? We want to see that happening during the game, but also you guys can see me auto pick my team and boom, quick pick all of my players that are on the starting pitch right now. They are all, I would say they're fit. They are quite fit. All of their fitness is on excellent and we are now good to go. Actually, we may not be good to go because I have to make sure my wingers are swapping positions. Now that is important, obviously. <laughs> so to start with, you can see Henrik Perea on the left hand side and you can see Oris da Stanio. That guy, his name is going to really frustrate me. He's on the right hand side. So hopefully during the game, they're going to switch positions. So we are in the 12th minute. And as you can see with my formations here on the top right, Oris Dan <sighs> Pereira is on the right hand side and the Italiano is on the left hand side right about now and if I play the game you possibly may switch or see them switch so we'll just have a keep we'll keep a uh, close eye on them oh here's Jan Kuto we were throwing here's Keating on the ball this is not a let's play RDF this is not a let's play RDF Here's Henrik Pereira now on the right hand side. He crosses it. He gets a just he gets an assist. Sorry. He gets an assist playing on the right hand side. But guess what? He started out on the left. So the tactical plan, you could say, is working. I'm getting very excited, aren't I? So we are going. There we are. There we are. We have seen a switch in the game. And it's obviously working. Both wingers are now playing very well. One was playing very, very well. Pereira did get an assist, but oh, they switched again and they have switched again. So that confirms it. It's working. It's working. Before we go on to the final tip, my game has finished. You can see that we've got our next game in three days. And I told you guys to rest your players. So what we are going to do now is select every single player here. I mean, Jan Kuto possibly won't be fit anyway because he's injured. Right click, go to training, rest for two days because our next game is in three days. We can't rest for three days because 
our games in three days and we are back it's been three days kind of and you can see look at the condition of my players everybody is in the green area and looking very very healthy so we can we're, we're kind of ready to go again that high intensity football we're kind of ready to go again but now let's move over to the last tip because i spent too much time on that one my last tip is kind of like it's a weird one. It's an awkward one. So I, I think a lot of people use it already, kind of, and other people don't really use it at all. So if I click on the player and you can see here, we've got position. So anybody that's in this position will have the same team instruct uh, player instruction. Sorry. But if I switch it to personalize now, Pereira, if I put, say, shoot less often, only Pereira is going to be shooting less often. And now if I change this, if I put Alvaro, for an example, go to him him now he's back to sit more narrow which everybody in this position should do now i would advise you to use personalize in certain situations so for an example for me we are pressing high there's a high press we're working the ball into the box it requires my attackers to have good aggression work rate teamwork composure and decision making just so they can make the right decisions at the right times of course work hard for the team and be aggressive to help our high press but what happens if you got one player that he doesn't have those attributes so for me it's this guy david soko and he's one player i need to play him he's very very decent he's only 20 he's six foot back post headers and all of that good stuff but i really really want to play him but i feel if i just leave him to do the typical inside forward on support job for my team he's not going to do really really well so what i have done is i've gone to him and because he doesn't have those attributes such as well, his aggression is not that bad but the bravery isn't there the composure decision making and the work rate just isn't there especially teamwork because you need teamwork to follow team instructions so i've clicked on him personalized for him he's closing down less and he's easing off tackles so technically i've given him less things to do less things to follow he doesn't have to close down just like the rest of the team and he doesn't have to get stuck in he can stay on his feet and just protect his sort of area which is what we want from him if he can't high press then at least just protect your area protect your zone don't really leave from it which is why i've got closed down less so that is my last tip that is my last tip use personalized instructions it will help you a lot and it also reduces the amount of errors that one player will make for an example if i'm getting him to close down more often it may be an error that you can't actually spot directly but if i've got him pressing much more often because his composure and decision making is low he's he might be pressing at the wrong time just leaving that area and it allows the other team to build out from the back quite easily now you can do this throughout your whole squad so another example you can see i've got silver hair as my register now a register he does like to get further forward he might find himself on the edge of the box sometimes he might just be tempted to take that long shot but silver has only nine long shooting or nine long shots and generally i don't like my players shooting from range so automatically we have shoot less often on silver and anybody that plays on this role but for one player one player actually has shoot more often and it's my boy Luis Martinez he's got long shots of 14 now his composure and decision making isn't that great but he does have great technique on him as well so his long shots it may be a good or a great secret weapon for us so again if I put him in he's got personalized instructions and that personalized instruction is asking him to shoot more often and unfortunately that wraps up this video that is five tips from rdf well technically four because one of them is fm stags i hope you have enjoyed that i've enjoyed recording this video it's a little bit different than what i usually do again if you aren't familiar with myself my name is rdf tactics and i am friends with stinger llama jd as well i am friends of the manager seat i'm not a complete stranger i will see you guys soon but before i go make sure you are subscribed make sure you like this video as well just leave a comment say hi you know the youtube algorithm how it works it's i don't know how it works i don't know but let's 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 figure it out let's figure it out together and help this channel boom grow i'll see ya